Hello everyone, today we will discuss about metastasis. In this video, we will mainly discuss about the molecular basis of the metastasis. In journal metastasis, I have discussed in my previous videos on neoplasia. So what is metastasis? Metastasis is the tumor implants discontinuous with the primary tumor. It needs to be discontinuous. If it is continuous, it is named as local invasion. And as you know that metastasis only uh, occurs in the malignant tumor because the benign neoplasms, they do not metastasize at all. Now going to the molecular basis of the metastasis. It is divided into two phases. First is the invasion of the extracellular matrix. Now the extracellular matrix consists of basement membrane and the interstitial tissue. Okay, it will invade it. Second is the vascular dissemination, homing of the tumor cells over there and colonization. Now let's discuss in journal about the molecular basis of the cancer, how the tumor metastasizes. If this is the primary tumor, we can see the primary tumor, if this is the primary tumor, it will uh, separate from its fellow tumor cells. It will degrade the basement membrane, the extracellular matrix and will enter into a vessel. Okay. We are here uh, discussing about hematogenous spread. So, it will enter into vessel. There, it will form tumor cell embolus with the help of other blood cells. And uh, when... Uh, it found it finds its secondary site adequate secondary site it will start extra visiting and the whole of the steps they will repeat again okay and it will form metastatic deposit okay now we will uh, discuss in detail the steps of invasion of the extracellular matrix so for the invasion of the extracellular matrix first thing is to is the loosening up of the tumor cell to tumor cell interaction okay if these are the two cells normal cells okay they are mostly adhered to each other with help of certain things known as adhesion molecules here we will take example of adhesion molecule known as e cadherin which mediates the adhesion in the epithelial tissue Okay, E. cadherin is specially important in adenocarcinomas of the colon and the breast. Okay, so here in the picture, in the diagram, we can see these are two cells. Okay, these are two cells and they are bound, they are adhered to each other with help of E. cadherin. Uh, here is the alpha catenin, the beta catenin, and the E. cadherin. Okay, so any variations in the E cadherin expression, the down regulation or alpha catenin, it leads to a more a spread of the carcinomas. Now going to the second part, firstly the cell to cell they have loosened up. Second part will be the degradation of the basement membrane and its migration. For the degradation, now the tumor cells, they secrete something known as proteolytic enzymes. These proteolytic enzymes, they can uh, be like matrix metalloproteinases, collagenases, cathapsin D, urokinase. Okay, so no, main, main important one is the matrix metalloproteinases. Okay, now for the migration of the tumor, uh, there are two types of migration. First is with the help of uh, these enzymes. These enzymes, they will degrade the basement membrane, the extracellular matrix and the cell will move through it. Second is the amoeboid migration. Okay. Now in this migration, the cell moves like a amoeba. It squeezes through the spaces in the matrix instead of cutting its way through it. It will squeeze through it. So this also explain that when we tried the matrix metalloproteinases inhibitors in patients to stop the metastasis, uh, it was not working because the tumor cells, they can switch between two types of migration. If you give them MMP inhibitors, they will start amoeboid migration. Okay, now they have... Now the cell, it uh, has a special quality. We can see the cell if it starts migrating. Now if we take the example of this cell, okay. 
so this is the leading end and this is the trailing end so this uh, the cell they attach to the matrix the extracellular matrix at the leading end and it detaches from the matrix at the trailing end and contracts its actin cytoskeleton so that the cell they can move forward through the extracellular matrix this is how they will start migrating okay and also the uh, tumor cells they do not express certain uh, uh, markers like the laminin the fibronectin they do not interact with the uh, normal ECM matrix proteins like that now going to the vascular dissemination and homing of the tumor cells now within the circulation when it has entered into the vessel the tumor cells they tend to form clumps now the clumps they can be of the two types there can be homeotypic clumps and there can be heterotypic clumps okay they can be heterotypic clumps and homeotypic clumps now homeotypic clumps means the tumor cell they aggregate and form a clump and heterotypic adhesion means the tumor cell along with certain blood cells like platelets they form a clump now the advantage of forming heterotypic clump is like if for they form tumor uh, platelet tumor aggregates it enhances the tumor cell survival uh, survival and then further uh, then when the aggregate is formed it will start moving and when it form founds its endothelium where it has to bind it will enter then adhere to the endothelium it will pass through the basement membrane and all the things reverse will take place and secondaries would be formed so the deposits the deposits which will be formed how they are determined firstly the first thing to determine the secondary deposits is uh, the anatomic location that is mostly the metastasis occurs in the first capillary bed which is available to the tumor example like prostate carcinoma mostly spreads through the vertebral bones because it is the first capillary bed which is available to the tumor but there are certain other things also so which are uh, they are known as organ tropism so what is organ tropism we will take three examples Firstly, some tumor cells they have certain adhesion molecules, okay, whose ligands uh, are expressed on endothelial cells of the target organ. So there is organ tropism for certain types of tumor to uh, go to a certain organ. Second thing is the chemokines, okay. So in certain like tumor, we will take example of breast cancer. Breast cancer they express certain chemokine receptors okay they are uh, uh, these are the receptors which are expressed by certain breast carcinoma cells and the chemokines uh, for these receptors are found in certain tissues where the breast carcinoma cells they mostly metastasize example the lungs they metastasize over there so certain receptor uh, chemokines are found mostly in those tissues and third thing is uh, some target tissues they are they have very non permissive environment they have very unfavorable soil, uh, soil. we can say that like that uh, like the skeletal muscles they are well vascularized but they are very rarely sized of metastasis so there are certain organ tropism seen when, uh, when there is formation of the secondaries okay this was all about the uh, molecular basis of the metastasis do like share and subscribe thanks for watching this video and ask the uh, queries regarding the topic in the comment box thank you